This video is going to show you the solution to a problem we did in class where you had to find the um, Coulomb's force on the 6 nanocoulomb charge. That's the one off to the top far right. To begin with, let's look at the steps you're going to be taking. You've got to determine the direction of the force generated by each charge on the 6 nanocoulombs. You'll have to break this into x and y components. You'll have to calculate the force's magnitudes with Coulomb's law. You're going to have to sum up the x and y, the forces in the x and y direction. You have to combine the x and y to make your solutions triangle. And then finally, you're going to use trig and geometry to find the actual answer, which is the f net and the angle. So to begin with, let's determine the direction. So to determine the direction of the force felt on that charge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if it's attracted or repelled. So the 5 nanocoulomb charge is repelling the 6 nanocoulomb. So the 6 nanocoulomb from the repulsion will be pushed away. The 3, negative 3 nanocoulomb is the opposite charge to the 6, so it's going to attract the 6 towards it. So it's going to move it towards it. So now I've got my directions. Next step, I've got to break things into x and y components because my forces are not perpendicular to each other. So the f65 I'll leave alone, but the f negative 3, 6, I need to make that the hypotenuse of a triangle with a vertical and horizontal component. So here's the vertical component, and here's going to be the horizontal component. So I'm going to use trig to find out the lengths of these two forces. And there's theta, there's f negative 3, 6 sine theta, and f negative 3, 6 cosine theta, so it's the adjacent side. All right, from here, I'm going to find the force's magnitudes so I can figure out what numbers go along with that. So there are a couple things I've got to do here. I'm going to use Coulomb's law, F56 is KQ5Q6 over R squared, putting in my numbers in the distance between 5 and 6. So here's where they all fit. Notice the uh, M, or sorry, the N is nano, so it's 10 to the minus 9 on that. And that gives me a force between 5 and 6 of 2.996 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons. So that's the force between 5 and 6. I'll put it over there. Now what I've got to do is I've got to find the distance between 3 and 6 so I can use Coulomb's law. So I'm going to use Pythagorean's theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 0.1 meters squared plus 0.3 meters squared equals C squared. And C squared is 0.316 meters. So that's the distance between 3 and 6. I can also use some trig to figure out the angle. So inverse tangent of 0.1 over 0.3 and that gives me an angle of 18.43 degrees. And that's the angle uh, of the force down between C and 6. So great, now I have my what I need for the trig and I have what I have for need for the distance. So F36 KQ3 Q6 over R squared putting in my numbers and also noting that the distance is 0 0.316 not 0 0.3, not 0 0.1 but the diagonal distance between 3 and negative 6. So when I do all that I get my answer of 1.6182 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons. But now I've got to find those components. So I'm going to use this as the hypotenuse times the cosine of the angle to give me the 1.35 or 1.53 times the negative 6. And then I'll do the same thing to find the sine or find the vertical component, and I get 5.12 times 10 to the negative 7 newtons. So there we go. There's the horizontal and vertical components of the forces. Now I've got to sum up the forces. So next up, sum up the forces in the x and y direction. So some of the forces in the x direction, so that's all these horizontal forces in the x direction. Everything right minus everything going left, and that gives me 1.46 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons. Now some of the forces in the vertical direction, but there's only one force. So it's just the 5.12 times 10 to the negative 7 newtons going down. Great. So it's on to combining these to get my solutions triangle. So in the x direction it's a positive value, so I assumed going to the right was positive, so I'll draw it going to the right. And in the fy there's only one and it's going down, so that's going to be drawing, I'll draw that downwards. So there are my numbers and where they belong. Now I'll draw the hypotenuse, so that's the net force, and theta. So this is a different triangle from what we did at the top. It's a solutions triangle, not our initial uh, givens triangle. So to find the magnitude of f net, I'll use a squared plus b squared equals c squared a squared plus b squared equals c squared using the lengths of that triangle and I get that c squared, or c, which is the net force, is 1.55 times to the negative 6 newtons. And to find the angle, I'll use the tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent using the sides in the triangle and I get that theta is equal to 19.3. So, you've seen it as a, kind of a video, but here's what your paper would actually look like. So here's the paper, kind of slide it up a little bit 
But you can see I'm describing what each step is doing. And if I shrink it down, that's what the whole page would look like for your paper. Notice that I'm giving little instructions before I do the formula so it's easier for someone else to follow what's going on.